Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using C Sharp how to send an email with attachment to Gmail account. Now let's send an email. The two address charantrike at gmail.com. Hello sending mail with attachment using win forms now i'm adding the attachment file image i'm adding animal 3 see here we got an alert message with the file path as well as we got the file name in the label control also now I'm clicking the send button and see here we got a message mail has been sent successfully charantrika at gmail.com and this is the mail subject hello sending mail with attachment using win forms and this is the attachment file we have chosen if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I'm creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the template, I'm choosing Windows, Windows Forms application, and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is WinForms Email Attachment. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let me expand this form one design page. Now in this form one design page, I'm adding three text box controls. Toolbox, text box one, two, three. The first text box I'm giving label to. I'm adding label. Two. Copy and paste. And second one is for the subject. And the third label is a body. F4 body and I want to make this body text box control is a multi line after that I'm adding one button control and one link button go to toolbox button control F4 send the button name is I'm adding a link button for the attachments link label F4 I'm changing the text for the link label to attachment now I'm adding one label control to display the message if the mail has been sent successfully or not open toolbox label control f4 and the last control i'm adding for the attachment open file dialog go to toolbox i'm minimizing the common controls dialogs is the open file dialog here we got the open file dialog. That's it. Up to now we have done the designing part. Now double click the button control send. And here we got the button click command. In order to send an email, we need the namespaces using system.net 
using system.net.mail after adding these two namespaces the last namespace I'm adding using system.iro this iro namespace for the files attachment now in the button click event I'm adding mail message class mm is equals to new mail message which takes four parameters from two subject and body and all four parameters are string based the first one is a from I'm adding my chalantrika gmail.com is my user email id I'm sending emails to this email id and the second parameter is a two address the two address is a text box one dot text mm dot subject is equals to text box two dot text mm dot body is equals to text box three dot text now I'm adding the core the file attachment for each loop string file name in we are choosing the files from the open file dialog open file dialog id dot file names once we select the file which means if the file exists if file dot exists method I'm adding file name this variable string file name is equals to path dot get file name the file name you are getting from this one file name now I'm adding the attachment file name to the mail message object mm dot attachments dot add method new attachment file name that's it we have attached the file now I'm adding the SMTP client details SMTP client SMTP is equals to new SMTP client SMTP dot host the host name for the Gmail is SMTP dot Gmail dot com SMTP dot port number for the Gmail is 587 now I'm adding the network credentials system dot net dot network credential NC is equals to new network credential and this network credentials I'm adding the string username the gmail user id and the password I'm adding the user id is charantrika gmail.com comma and the second parameter is a password just for the security reasons I am not adding my real password but at the time of sending this email I will change into the real password smtp dot enable SSL is equals to two smtp dot credentials here the credentials I'm adding the network credential object NC and the last I'm adding the send method SMTP dot send method MM after mail is sent successfully I want to display the message for that I have user level 4 dot text is equals to mail has been sent 
successfully textbox one dot text that's it we have written the code to send an email but we have to select the file for that I have used the attachment double click that one open file dialog dot show dialog now after selecting the file I want to display the file name so we'll add one label control here after the attachment toolbox I'm expanding the common controls label f4 switch to the coding part again now instead of writing the whole code just copy this one paste here delete the if condition message box dot show file name it will display the alert message with the file name as well as I want to display the the file name in the label text label file dot text is equals to file name dot to string method that's it and now it's time to send an email from windows application start and here we got the form one window before sending an email let's open my gmail account I want to send an email with attachment to this gmail account now let's send an email the two address chantrike at gmail.com hello sending mail with attachment using win forms Now I'm adding the attachment file image. I'm adding animal three. See here we got an alert message with the file path as well as we got the file name in the label control also. Now I'm clicking the send button and see here we got a message mail has been sent successfully charantrika at gmail.com and this is the mail subject hello sending mail with attachment using winforms and this is the attachment file we have chosen that's it